Hi, hey, hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have read the entirety of the Nevernight Chronicles. I don't know if it's called that, but uh, the series by J. Kristoff. There will probably be a bit of spoilerish content coming up, especially since I am going to read you the blurbs of all three books. My thoughts at the end though, those are probably mostly spoiler free, so if you want to skip ahead, go ahead. If you don't want to watch the video, you're free to not watch the video too. Well, now you have the information. Go make good choices. A book, a number one, never night. Why is up with me in accents? Why do I keep? Hi, Oliver. Why do I keep doing it? Hi, you gonna join? No. Okay, cool. Bye. Love you. So, book number one, never night. In a land where three suns almost never set, a fledging killer joins a school of assassins seeking vengeance against the powers who destroyed her family. Daughter of an executed traitor, Mia Covere, if that's how you say her name, is barely able to escape her father's failed rebellion with her life. Alone and friendless, she hides in a city built from the bones of a dead god, hunted by the Senate and her father's former comrade, com comrades, comrades, wow. But her gift for speaking with the shadows leads her to the door of a retired killer and a future she never imagined. Now, Mia is apprentice to the deadliest flock of assassins in the entire Republic, the Red Church. If she bests her fellow students in a contest of steel, poison, poison, I can't speak, poison, and the subtle arts, she'll be inducted among the blades of the Lady of Blessed Murder. That is a mouthful. And one step closer to the vengeance she desires. But a killer is loose within the church's halls. The bloody secrets of Mia's past return to haunt her and a plot to bring down the entire congregation is unfolding in the shadows she so loves. Will she survive to initiation, let alone have her revenge? The cats are going crazy. Book number two, God's Grave. Mia Corberi. I don't know, has found her place among the blades of Our Lady of Blessed Murder. But many in the Red Church's hierarchy think she's far from earned it. Plying her bloody trade in... Things fell down. All right, where was I? Cat, stop. <laughs> Shush. <laughs> Plying her bloody trade in a black wa blackwater backwater of the Republic, she's no closer to ending the men who destroyed her familia. In fact, she's told directly that Consul Skava is off limits. But after a deadly confrontation with an old enemy, Mia's suspicions about the Red Church's true motives begin to grow. And the very last book, in book number three, Dark Dawn. Dark Dawn. Why? Is that so weird to say? I don't know. Anyway, the greatest games in God's Grave's history have ended with the most audacious murders in the history of the Etrian Republic. Mia Corvere, Gladiati, escaped slave and infamous assassin, is on the run. Pursued by blades of the Red Church and soldiers of the Illuminati Legion, she may never escape the city of bridges and bones alive. Her mentor Mercurio is now in the clutches of her enemies. Her own family wishes her dead and her nemesis, Consul Julia Scava, stands but a breath from total dominance over the Republic. 
but beneath this city a dark secret awaits. Together with her lover, Ashlyn, brother Jonan, and a mysterious benefactor returned from the yonder vale of death, she must undertake a perilous journey across the Republic, seeking the final answer to the riddle of her life. True dark approaches, night is falling on the Republic for perhaps, perhaps, perhaps the final time. Can Mia survive in a world where she can, where even daylight must die? My goodness, so many words I can't read. <laughs> so basically, is the Nevernight trilogy, whatever the series is called, I can't remember, is it worth it? Is it worth your time? Was it worth my time? I don't know. So, Nevernight, I read Nevernight, I think, last year. So this was a reread, but it was the first time reading God's Grave and Dark Dawn. Which I can't seem to say without going, it was that the right order. So the first time I read Nevernight, I was thoroughly confused because the first couple of chapters is like we're reading the same thing but like from different kind of perspective from different kind of things happening but it's basically the same scene but some things are changed so in one scene she's having sex and in the other scene she's killing the person so it's basically she's either killing or having sex with the person and it's it, it was weird because i was reading it and i was like didn't i just read this yes i did <laughs> and it was basically the same time second time around um i was just confused about it all because we don't really get a we don't really get a explanation of what the freaking hell happened um and why we're seeing like the same thing over and again but like just slight changes it's kind of like you're thrown into the middle of a war storm of some call and you just you, you need to figure out how to survive or you die moving on so mia ages throughout the books but in the first book, the age that's mentioned about her or like what age she is, is 14. It keeps going Mia 14. Uh, I know she's not meant to be 14 in the first book. I think she's meant to be 16. But it's like they're thinking back and it's like when I was 14, blah, 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 blah. So in my brain, <laughs> Mia was 14 because that was the only thing that stuck so when the sex scenes came it was like I do not want to be involved with this because minor no 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 <laughs> this is too weird even for me so those are my like my main irks with well basically the the whole series um, it's in the first book. <laughs> Once I got through the first book and went into be like book two and three, everything just sort of like ran smoothly. And I want to say the premise as a whole is a good one. Was it executed perfectly? No, but it runs smoothly and it tells a good story. There are things that should have just been taken out and like other things that should have been more of like some characters should have gone more like facetime um and got a, maybe a more more plot in in the grand scheme of things i don't know what the cats are doing but it's distracting me there are parts of the book that just goes whoom and I'm like just calm the fuck down already and that is coming from me who tends to get a bit hyper 
I know it, I can't always stop myself, which is why I tell people it's fine to tell me to calm the fuck down, because uh, <laughs> it's fine, it's fine, I don't take it personally. Final conclusion, do I get the obsessive hype over this series? No. <laughs> No. I mean, it's fine. But it's not one where I want to just go repeat everything all over again. She, the character of Mia, she's not that great. Oliver, what you doing? Okay. So Mia's meant to be like this badass kick kick your kick ass ask questions later type of female character and I guess up to a point she is but she's also an asshole. <laughs> she's she's a dickhead. Yeah. I mean we can all be absolute asses at times. I'm not saying that anyone is perfect, but she, <laughs> she is so imperfect, it's slightly scary. Um, but yeah, good time read, I suppose. The fact that the fonts in the books I read was so tiny did not help. Um, blind, I'm not blind, but... I, I don't have the best eyesight at times, so book publishers, please print books in a normal font size. It helps. It helps us people who need to see. <laughs> that makes no sense. Anyway, um, yeah, if you've read the Nevernight Chronicles series, I don't know what the fuck it's called. This is annoying me. I'm gonna look it up. I'm, I'm, I'm looking it up. Okay. We're looking it up together. Never night. That is not how you spell never night. Never night. It's one word to begin with. Oh, it is called the Never Night Chronicle. There you go. There you go. Um, <laughs> if you've read this series, do let me know. Let's have a chat. Tell me I'm wrong. I, it's fine. I probably am. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I shall see you all next time. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.